We're here in the Ida Valley in central Otago. We're just going to put a hydrobine down here into Ben Faulkner's property. The hydrobine requires no electricity or fuel. It is totally self-powered and is designed to work with low flow and low pressure water supplies in even the flattest terrain. Using the power of the water flowing through it, it will supply in excess of 10,000 litres of water per day to a height of more than 100 metres. This will give you a consistent, convenient supply of water. Here we just put the hydrobine in, it's taken us about half an hour. Just put a row of rocks around each side of it just to direct most of the water in. And um, pumping well, started pumping the minute we put it in. Here we're just up in Garston. Uh, we just have a look at this water pump. We've been working here for two or three years now. So we're, we're pumping about 700 metres. Yes and to a height of about 15 metres. Yes, about a 15 metre vertical lift, and we're pumping about 10 to 12 litres a minute. Pumping it up here with no power, and it tastes good. Beautiful. The four critical factors for the hydrobine are, one, the amount of water at the source in litres per second, two, the amount of fall available for the pump, three, the height and distance you want the water pumped to, and four, the amount of water you require in litres per minute. These factors will determine if the hydrobine will suit your requirements. Hi, it's Nick here. Just giving you a bit of a look at an artificial stream we've created, which just the efficiencies and output of a hydrobine unit. So this is our hydrobine unit, it'll pump from 0 to 100 litres of head and it'll do anywhere from 200 litres per hour up to 1500 litres per hour. One of the advantages of this unit is that it will work from falls through the hydrobine as low as 250 mil with flows of 25 litres per second and over.